Hey everyone, welcome back to the Hash Raptor YouTube channel. Hope you all are doing great. Today I am going to show you how to move wrapped Ethereum from the Polygon network over to the Ethereum mainnet. <laughs> Now this can work, the method I'm going to show you with other networks as well, so just keep that in mind depending on where you're keeping your layer 2 crypto. So let's jump right into this and take a look at what we've got. Right here you can see my MetaMask wallet and you can see I am on the Matic mainnet quick node right here. And I have 1.19272 Ethereum. This is wrapped Ethereum because we're on the layer 2 Polygon Matic network. Uh, that I need to get moved over so I can make a purchase over to the Ethereum mainnet. So I'm going to show you one method to go about doing that today and there are a few different ones out there if you want to google around and take a look you'll see some other tools that can do the same things what I'm going to show you. So let's go ahead and just capture real quick the amount that I've got uh, right here I've got 1.19272 and I'm going to use a tool called multi-chain and you can google it or go to multichain.org and the router is what I'm going to use to move this crypto over and right here you can see that I using this tool it recognizes that I'm on the polygon network with my MetaMask wallet and it can see my balance of wrapped ethereum which is 1.19 and right here you can see that I have selected this. Now if I had different tokens here on layer 2 I could select one of those but we're doing our WF and I'm gonna do the full amount. Now where am I moving it to? The send to down here is the Ethereum mainnet so most importantly make sure that you've got these networks correct where you're wanting to go from and where you're wanting to go to. And you can see I'm at wrapped F and I'm gonna unwrap this Ethereum pushing it over the uh, Ethereum bridge to the main net here. Now this is interesting, so what it's saying I'm going to get is 1.176721. So let's subtract, so that equals 0 0.015999. So that's roughly what they say the fee is going to be right here. The minimum cross-chain fee is 0, 0.0. 16 wrapped Ethereum. So if we grab that and we do a quick conversion, that comes out at the moment, at the time of shooting this, about 45 USD. Now another tool I'll show you real quick while you're looking at this stuff that um, is sort of handy for me, it gives me a quick snapshot of gas fees. If you go to rarableanalytics.com, and I'll put a link to this in the show notes, it gives you a really quick snapshot of where gas fees are and whether it's worth uh, making moves over on the Ethereum mainnet. And then down here, it's kind of neat. It gives you some different breakouts if you want to go low, average, or fast. And then it gives you some different use cases right here as to what the cost would be. But if I'm wanting to get just a quick snapshot, this is what I look at right up here. And you can see this is a really good time to make a move on the mainnet. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Now one thing uh, that is also worth noting if you go to move your funds over that this cross-chain arrival is 10 to 30 minutes. So once we make this swap, don't panic that it's going to take a little while to show up in your wallet. Just be patient. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit the swap button and we're going to review and confirm. So this is our cross-chain fee, 0.1%. I'm going to confirm. And so here's my Matic gas fee, which is less than a penny right here. So I'm going to go ahead and confirm this. Okay, so I got a failure, and this happens from time to time on these DeFi tools. So just like uh, not having to worry if it takes you a little while to get things moved over, don't worry if you get a little error message like that. Sometimes you may have to try two, three, four times. It can be a little bit frustrating, but no worries. Uh, it'll all work out in the end. Okay, there we go. So look at this, our Polygon status switched over to pending. So it looks like we are moving along. Okay, success. And now here on the Ethereum mainnet, our transaction details are showing that it is in the process of confirming. 
So this is that part where I'm just going to be patient. We're going to wait, and I'll let you know how long it takes for this move, uh, assuming successful, uh, to show up in our MetaMask wallet. All right, so I just hopped over to dbank.com real quick to get a snapshot while this has taken place. And you can see that in my Polygon Layer 2 network here on my wallet, that my Ethereum has been taken out. And if I come over to my assets on Ethereum, it has not been added in just yet, and it's only been a couple of minutes. There we go, folks. You can see right here, our Ethereum status on the mainnet side is a success. So we should be good with multi-chain here. Now what I wanna do is just switch over to my MetaMask wallet and make sure we got this new Ethereum coming through just fine. Okay, there we go. I just switched over to the Ethereum mainnet. Make sure before you get uh, excited that you switch to the right network. And you can see right here, we've got that uh, additional Ethereum that came in. And we'll just do a quick refresh here at DBank. You could see I was at 2.5. And doing the refresh, there we go, 3.6974. All right, so that's how you do it. If you've got any other methods that you want to put in the comments below, please do that. If you've got any questions, also throw those in the comments below. And just note, be patient when you're dealing with these Layer 2 networks. Anything on the blockchain, you may need to refresh a couple times. Make sure you read the fine print. You may need to wait a little bit while uh, the transactions take place. So just have some patience. And I would say don't wait to the last minute if you are needing to get crypto from one side, one chain to another. If you're planning to make a purchase or move something around at a specific time, go ahead, plan ahead, and get the funds in place, converted. Uh, that way you're not stressed out waiting on these transactions to complete. So that'll do it for today. Thanks so much for watching Raptors. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. Mm -hmm.